Hey guys, my name is Zabel, and today we're going to be checking out Wucha Sonyeon's album, Dream Your Dream. Um, I'm really excited to check out some more Wucha Sonyeon. If you haven't seen on the Patreon, we're checking out their immersive theater. I think that's what it's called, if I remember correctly. Um, but we're checking out um, that series over there. So, you know, it's in fashion. We're going to check out Wucha Sonyeon on the Patreon, you know, or anytime. Check out, you know, continue on with their discography. It's been a little bit since we the last album that we did, but I'm really excited to check out what this album has to offer. If you guys are excited, make sure to like the video, comment down below any songs from this album that you enjoyed. Subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when my videos go live. And for any extra and for any extra content, check out the Patreon. But um without further ado, we have Dreams Come True, um, the title track, and then we have a uh, dance practice for Dreams Come True. And then the next songs are and then all the other songs are um color coded lyrics which are called Love O'Clock, Renaissance, Starry Moment, and Thawing. So, yeah, without further ado, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. <coughs> Wow. It's like they're like all throwing out their dreams or goals out there together. I'm on pause it here but i really like how the song is very different um it's it's not like it's not like a simple track or it's like catchy it's it's really different i really like it like it's it's like they basically tried something different with this song made it very dreamlike but it's not like popping in your ear or catchy like that in your ear but i really like that they went for something different with this um title um and I really like that it is like it feels like their dreams, like they're gathering together, like following dreams or, you know, you know, gathering together somehow. And I really like that throughout the music video. I really like the choreo. Um, I can't wait to see it more in the dance practice. But yeah, I'm really liking that the song is very unique in that way and very um, different. Um, and I definitely got to have to check this song out multiple times to really get used to it because it's really like calming and relaxing for me and it's like nothing is really going crazy like the vocals aren't really going crazy xc's rap part wasn't as like 
high energy as it can be. But it was very like laid back and relaxed, and I really enjoyed that a lot. So here we go, three, two, one, stop. <laughs> I really like how it's filmed too, like, it's very like, the like, saturation, I guess is what you describe it. Uh, I mean, I hope that's how it's filmed. Hopefully my computer didn't mess up anything, cause that's, uh, that's how I'm feeling. But I think it is the music video, though. I haven't changed it or touched it or anything. And it was all a dream. And then maybe like that saturation is supposed to emulate a dream, maybe. I don't know. Like, it's kind of blurry, kind of hard to see sometimes. It's very like over, you know, in dreams like that. Ooh. Probably some story elements that I should probably know or you know, not uh, not understanding, but moving on to the Dreams Come True dance practice. I really like the song a lot. Like I said, yeah, I'm going to definitely have to listen to it mul multiple times to really understand the song. But I'm really um, excited to check out the choreo for this song because I really enjoyed how like trust in me and trust in like that part was really cool. I really enjoyed that part a lot. Like I said, it's very different for like a title release. I really like that. There you go. Three, two, one, stop. So we just sung <clears throat> Like it just feels camera. It might just be the camera. I really like that part, I like the trust in me, trust in you part. I like the like choreo part where she does there's the and it says the world with no light without you. No, it's like the maybe that's like the sun.
Oh yeah, where they all come into the circle. Or a few members come to the circle. I'm like utilizing all the members so well. How they all did the same move falling down basically. Hey, hey. That was really good. <laughs> Just so yeah. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that song a lot. Like I said, it's very different, very unique. Um, really love the trust in me, trust in you part a lot. Um, from the Chinese members, it was really cool. I liked it. But moving on to level clock. So we got thirty two on the side. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this would have been a nice song to listen to if it. Which is something always has like very nice B sides that like, like you'll just vibe to or like like a lot. And I'm really glad that they do have the B sides. So. Like, like they're very unique, so different. It's just I feel like yeah, their B sides to me are like underrated. <laughs> pause it here but i feel like the song is talking about like you know just it's called love o'clock you know you're it's 12 o'clock midnight basically and you, you want to take this person on a ride go out with this person tonight like have a great night where basically you want to go higher to where you can't even see the lights no more like i described in that way and i really like that like this kind of love this you know loving this person want to do everything with this person like even shocking everyone like that you two are like in love or you know whatever y'all are doing like I, I really like the song I like how fast paced it is like it's keeping that fast pace in this you know that's how love is sometimes it can be very fast paced like how they're going with the song and I really like that like and I like I said I really like how unique the song sounds like beat wise 
the vocals, you know, XC's rap part. Like, like that's why I say I feel like Wuja Sonyun's B sides are a bit underrated because they're very unique and very different. And I really like that. Like, um, it's just, it's really cool. It's really cool. And I, I hope more people, either through my reaction or just through anyone else's reaction, check out more uh, Wuja Sonyun's um, B sides, especially on their albums because I feel like they're a bit underrated. So. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Or I mean, they might not be underrated. People already understand. It just, it's just me that hasn't reacted to it. Mm. Let me go back into this Halloween. Like, doom, 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 doom. but there you go. It love o'clock, but I really, I really enjoyed that a lot. So. Moving on to Renaissance. So, um, yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, and Sola? Yes, yes. She has a nice vo voice. I'm like, watching Wuja Sonya and Queen of Two, like, they all have nice um, vocals. here but i really like the kind of build up that they did right here with the song really like the vocals and the beat a lot basically maybe taking an interest into something else this person is and they're like maybe hoping that they don't you know have this renaissance if, if i remember if, if i'm remembering after just checking out the definition five seconds after it's just like kind of checking out like um you know what they 
you know, having a new interest in, but hoping that they don't forget about them. Yeah, I really, I really like the beat in the song and how it's building up and everything. So three, got three, two, one. Three. Really like it, like the vocals and just everything. There you go. Really like that song. Really like how it just was the build up and just how it sounded throughout the whole song. It was a really good song. But moving on to the next one, which is called Starry Moment. So you got three, two, one, let's go. Ooh. All right, I like this beat a lot. Hmm. Yeah, they're switching up the song's face now. And then that's how they transition. Okay, I like how they transition from that slower face into building it back to this uh, beat that we first heard. And then like this key change, but I think it's a key change. I'm gonna pause it here, but I really like the lyrics a lot with like talking about like just the right thing, just the right air. Like, this is the right atmosphere, this is what we need. Like, you know, stars are out, the temperature's right, the air is right. Like, you know, just being in love, basically, you know, telling them how much they're in love with this person, but it's almost like the other person keeping it a secret. Like, you know, all right, t tell me that you like me, tell me that you love me. Like, we have this right, we're right in the moment. This is the perfect time to do everything. Like, well, it's called Starry Moment. This is the moment right here for you to kind of confess and tell your love. Like, tell them how much you love them. And I really like it that they're on oh, this situation in this, and right here. And I really like the vocals. I really like this beat. The t -t 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 -t. Like, this beat goes in. This is the type of beat. This is like that type of sound that I really enjoy a lot. Um, because it gives off like a, such a old school kind of like 80s, 90s vibes, I would say, maybe early 2000s too. Like it just really does, and I really enjoy it a lot. So here we go. Three, two, one, two. Oh. 
That was so good. I really enjoyed that song a lot. Such a good song. But moving on to the last song, which is called Thawing. Oh, got a Christmas vibe to it. The car sound. <laughs> the sneeze. That had to have been like already recorded sneeze. Unless someone actually sneeze. Or So called thawing, you're melting this person's heart, thawing it out. <laughs> that was from as small like Olaf Melton, or as small as Olaf. like the change of the beat right here i mean i already was feeling the beat but i really like that they switched it up right here i really like the lyrics a lot it's basically like it's christmas too like it has a christmas theme th to it basically this person has like a ice block heart and you're the one melting it thawing it out to where it can be warm and loving and all that basically opening up their heart by thawing it out i really like that like assumption of love and like that that's how they're using the word thawing that's, that's really cool. I really like it. I really like it. And then, like I said, it's very Christmas themed, but I really like that it's not really like associated with Christmas, but they use like Christmas sound. But they're not really like directly talking about Christmas. It's kind of just like it's around that time of um of the season, but it's just, they're not directly talking about it. And I really like that. So here we go. Three, two, one, stuff. And they'll mention stuff like personal, but they're not really talking about on Christmas. It's like, I love you. It's just like, you know, kind of around this season, like, no. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, that's why we're just on your B sides, like. They're so different and unique, and I love them. 
Yeah, I, I feel like they're underrated B-sides as well. Like, not a lot of people, I feel like, aren't talking about it. Like, including me, but like, I, you know, I'm, I'm the one reacting to it, so I'm getting to it, but I feel like some people don't even know. Oh yeah, I really like this song a lot. This, I think this was my favorite B-side out of, out of all the B-sides um, on this album so far. But with that, that was the last song following. I really enjoyed that song. I really enjoyed this album as a whole. It really showcased like um, different elements of Wuja Song Yon. Like, you know, vocal wise, how they took um, each approach at each song differently and just really, you know, went with it, um, a unique experience throughout the whole album. Like you got some very kind of highs and lows throughout some of the songs and like some middles and just everything so i really enjoyed it so i guess my top three beat sides because I, I guess i not just started but i kind of just been doing this now every album reaction i would kind of rank the b-sides and not like the title track with them but um thawing would have to be number one i really enjoyed love o'clock a lot and i guess starry moments um like to always pref I, no. I would like to always say this that um that whatever doesn't make it in my top three doesn't mean I don't like 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 I hate the song or anything. Just it just that's my order of first listens and those are the top three for me. But with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye.